So let's talk about Daniel Day Lewis's apparently last film called The Phantom Thread that just came out. Or at least came out where I live. I've been waiting for this for a while. And I was honestly really excited because Daniel Day Lewis, I think, is one of those great actors that even if he's in a boring movie, like There Will Be Blood, which to me is not super interesting, but I can watch it because of his performance. Um, I think he's a really good actor that can really hold a movie, even if, like I said, it's not that interesting to me personally. So I was excited for Phantom Thread, and I was interesting because it got all of these great reviews, like insane great reviews, like Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes. People are like, oh, it's so amazing. And I always don't, I don't always bank on if a movie's great because of ratings on the internet. But I like whatever it is, and that makes me think I might like it if it is pop or if it is really high rated, highly rated. But I might disagree too. There are movies that disagree too that I don't like that are highly rated. But I think that that was one of those reasons why I watched this and wanted to see it because of Daniel Day Lewis and because of all the buzz it's been getting. And I wasn't let down because this is one of my favorite movies of the year. I'd say. Not my number one, but it's in my top ten. And by that, I mean there are at least ten, fifteen movies that I rated like five stars in terms of great movie or in terms of entertaining. And this was just a great movie. And I thought that it really was interesting, despite the fact that it was so... Like, it's just one of those movies that's purposefully not going to have much going on in it. It's a slow character piece. And I love character pieces that are slow like this and I think that this did a great job with building up this romance but it's a very bizarre romance and I'm gonna keep it spoiler free but it really it works in a very weird way like it's just these characters they meet Reynolds and Alma and they meet and get married and then it kind of escalates from there um, in just terms of how they both are very either a dick or a very childish person and I think that that's really cool in terms of a romantic movie where it's not like just one person's the wrong one it's like they both are shitty and I like I like that whenever movies do that where it's not like oh one person's got problems so we're gonna break up or we're gonna or some shit's gonna go down I thought that this was great at the shit going down because of how horrible both of these people are and I like how it's got that kind of message about how they're both bad, but they're for each other. Um, without spoiling it, they're just not, they're not very good people. Um, it's just, it's interesting. You've seen, and I guess the trailer doesn't even show much of that either. So I'm going to tread lightly on mentioning anything else besides that. But I just think these characters are not very good characters, are good people. They're great characters. They're great. The writing is really great. But they're not good people, and I and I like that. I like whenever you can get a movie like this, where it's really, really greatly written, and these characters are really not likable, but you can, but they've got some likability to them, some sense of it, and I think that it's interesting whenever you go to that fine line of are they likable or are they not, and I think it's mostly because the performances are really, really good. Like Daniel Day Lewis is always good, and all in all the stuff I've seen him, he's really good. Um, and the woman who plays Alma, I don't know what else she's been in, but she was really good, too. I thought that she gave so much to this role without saying anything else. I think she gave so much to it, just in terms of her acting. It was really good. And I also noticed, too, watching it with a friend, that we, we both thought that there was a lot of moments where the acting was very good but it was no dialogue it was a very there were a lot of moments where the faces and the emotions just told the story it didn't it didn't have to rely on dialogue and i thought that that was great in moments of the movie where it might get intense with just these characters reactions to each other i thought that that was really cool that you can use just emotions and a look you can give somebody but it works really incredibly well um just a really really great acted movie and a really great interesting story and it and the pacing is good and it doesn't it, i would have thought that this would have been a movie that would not interest me but i'm so glad that i was wrong and i'm so glad that this actually gave me uh something to like about it and i and legitimately love about it because i thought that this was in terms of acting it was fantastic and in terms of 
the story. It was really good, and and everything else was very good about it. So I think that this does qualify for me to be one of the best movies of the year. One of my favorite movies of the year, because I don't always pick best. I pick entertaining as well. Um, but this is up there. This is like in my top ten of this year, and I, and I really am glad I saw it. I'm glad that I saw Daniel Day-Lewis's apparently last film, because he wants to be a farmer, which, I mean, I don't, I don't know if he... If he still has that thought, he wants to quit acting and become a farmer. But if he does, if he if that is what he wants, then this is a great last note to end on. I'm glad that he ended on this movie because he did really, really fantastic. Um, so yeah, nothing more to say, but this was just really a fantastic movie.